Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a haul video for you. It's not that exciting, but I thought I've been collecting all the stuff I've been getting over the last three or four weeks and I thought you might be interested to see. Some of it was gifted to me and some of it I purchased with my own money. I will let you know what's what as I show it. First thing I want to show you is a new water bottle I got. I'm really trying to like boost my health a bit and for the last few weeks I've been drinking out of like you know those big obnoxious two litre bottle of bottles of water and just it's just really hard when you see this huge thing of water and you're trying to guzzle through it. So I'm trying to drink more water by putting it into smaller bottles but I decided to buy myself an actual permanent bottle and this is the Aladdin water bottle and this is BPA free which is the bad stuff that's in plastic that can get into your water and into your body and it's not good so it just looks like this and it holds 0.6 of a litre of water so if you drink about three three or four of these you're gone well over your recommended water intake for the day and I find it really really easy to drink from this as opposed to from a huge bottle in case you're interested that's the mouthpiece for it and if you wanted to pop in slices of lemon or lime or berries or anything you, this also screws off so you can just pop stuff in there really really handy really well made and it has a little strap thing there I think that's if maybe you cycle or run or whatever and it's really really good completely waterproof obviously and it was 14 euro in Tesco I was looking on eBay and Amazon to see if they were any cheaper no they were like 20 25 euro but they were 14 euro in Tesco but I did have to try two or three Tesco's before I found one. I seem to find that the smaller Tesco's have these, whereas the bigger, better stocked ones don't. So that was a bit strange to me. 14 euro, really, really good investment. Highly recommend. I attended the Quad Ireland event in Gillian Edgeworth's hair salon in Temple Bar about two weeks ago. And basically it's the newest keratin protein hair straightening treatment 16 week blow dry effort and it looks really really good Leanne Woodfull is the face of it this is the brochure doesn't Leanne look gorgeous and then this is the back of it it just it seems to be really good her hair looks amazing and a friend of mine Grace Faces by Grace 23 had her hair done on the night looked incredible uh, so we went along to the launch of this and while we were walking out they handed us these amazing goodie bags and in the goodie bags we got the quad fast hair mask treatment massive tub about this size and smells amazing and Holly from Naked Without My Lippy texted me the other day to say it's absolutely incredible so I can't wait to give this a go I'm just waiting till I finish up some of my other hair treatments first we also got the quad argan oil I used this for the first time yesterday and it's really 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 nice it's heavy in silicone but I don't see that as a bad thing my hair reacts really well to silicones and it smells absolutely amazing. It just smells really nutty or something. Really, really impressed with that. And now I can't get the pump back on. Really impressed with it. And I literally just washed and washed and air dried my hair yesterday. I applied this when it was just freshly washed. And it seems to be sitting quite well today. So that's a testament to the Quad Argan Oil. I needed some skincare bits. A lot of my skincare ran out at about the exact same time, so I had to go out and grab some bits. First of all, this is in every single one of my hauls. I had to go to Lidl to get the cotton pads. Love these, they're 79 cents, they're amazing. If you are on the search for new cotton pads, I really recommend these ones. Strange. I had ran out of my Garnier moisturizer that will feature in an empties soon. And I needed a new moisturiser basically and I wanted to go back to my trusty Olay Beauty Fluid. I get the one for normal dry combo skin and this is the day fluid but I use it a day at night. It comes in a huge bottle that looks like this. You only need a little bit and it sinks into the skin really quickly and it acts as a really nice base for makeup and my skin really likes this stuff and I've been using it and yeah really really like this stuff. I think it was 7 or 8 euro and I bought that with my own money. I also needed a new toner and I didn't know what to do. I'd been using a La Roche-Posay one that I wasn't really too keen on. It didn't really seem to do anything. Um, and I wanted to go back to get my Body Shop seaweed one, seaweed clarifying toner. But uh, for whatever, yeah, no, it wasn't on the shelf. It was completely out of stock in my local body shop. So I was like, oh, what am I going to do? So when I was in McCabe's Pharmacy in Dundrum, I spotted this on the shelf. And it was like it looked like one like a beautician would use and it's just there's a huge bottle of toner this is by Bifas, Biface and it's um, 
tonic douceur sans alcool for face. Um, so it's basically obviously a French skincare brand and it's a toner without alcohol for the face and I've been using that it smells very like roses and it actually says on the bottom Allo de rose so it is rose water and I have been using it and it smells very strongly of roses so if you don't like the smell of roses you're not going to like this and this was super cheap I think it was three or four euro and in case you're wondering, I haven't used that much of it. I've actually decanted it into, into a little spray bottle so it's easier to dispense, just FYI. Next, when I was in Aldi picking up the face pads, I spotted these and I thought you can never go wrong with these. These are the CN Sport and Sun Lip Balms with SPF 20. I thought just because with the hot weather we've been having that they would be good to have to apply to the lips because I have no lip balm with sun protection in. And that was maybe three or four euro. And I know we all know and I've harped on about it for long enough that I adore my Boots Sensitive Eye Cream but I spotted this and I couldn't resist picking it up. I'm really into eye creams lately which is a weird thing to be into. This is the Cien Face Q10 Anti Wrinkle Eye Cream for a Demanding Skin. It comes in a box that looks like this. It was a total bargain. It was three or four euro. And I've been using this at night time and the Boots one for during the day before I put on my makeup. And I really, really like this stuff. It's quite comparable to the Boots. It's just a little bit more thicker and concentrated and it sinks really well into the skin. And the skin under the eyes feels really, really soft and smooth in the morning when you've woken up. So recommend that. I think it's really, really, really nice and worth checking out. I picked up another dry shampoo by Batiste. This is the floral and floral and flirty, and I really, really like the smell. Um, really, really like the smell, but unfortunately, my scalp is having a severe reaction to absolutely everything I put on it lately. It's really, really getting to me and upsetting me. About a year ago, I started to get a really, really sensitive scalp, and I can't, I can't remember what I was using. Just normal drugstore shampoo and then uh, my mom suggested because she has a sensitive scalp also to try Dove shampoos so I started using Dove and while it didn't completely soothe my scalp it didn't irritate it either and it seemed to be the best of a bad lot so I continued to use Dove then about two or three weeks ago even Dove started to really really aggravate my scalp so I was really at wit's ends. So I went out and I bought the Mugu milk shampoo which comes in a really cute bottle that looks like this thinking that something a little bit more natural and less irritative to my scalp would help so I've used this maybe two or three three times now and um, shampooing twice in every shower and my scalp is still really really sore the strange thing is it's only on my left side so my mother suggested well maybe you're not rinsing as well on your left side as on your right but that's not it I don't know what's going on Um, I had my other half examine <laughs> my scalp and he reckons it just looks really irritated and I googled images and he compared it and he thinks it might look like scalp um, psoriasis so here's to hoping it's not that and it's just a reaction to something but it's really really getting to me and it's really itchy and sore and my hair is falling out quite a bit as well now luckily I have an awful lot of hair so I can afford to lose a bit but I don't want to lose it all sorry for the massive ramble really really sorry for the massive ramble sorry about that Next I picked up in Superdrug the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Colour Renew Tone Correcting Conditioner and this is a purple conditioner. Just looks like that. It's just a light purple colour. And this is specifically for toning brassy looking blonde. Now the ends of my hair have been ombre. I'm finding it quite difficult to keep them kind of crisp and white without drying my hair out so I f actually find those conditioners quite good. They don't do an amazing job in tone correcting but they keep the hair nice and soft and my hair doesn't feel dry anymore so I mean what harm. And I got two of those for I think 10 euro because they were nearly 8 euro each and they were on special. Next for makeup, I was in Boots and I noticed the Bourgeois had a 2 for 19 euro deal on. I think that deal is still on. So I picked up two Bourgeois products. I picked up the Bourgeois Radiance Reveal Healthy Mix Healthy Glow Foundation uh, for hydrated and luminous skin. I'm actually filming a first impression review on that today. So if you're wondering what base I have on today, it is this with no powder, no primer and no concealer. None under my eyes, none on my face. And I think it's doing a pretty good job so far. Sneak peek. And I think it's doing a pretty good job so far. I will link off that first impression review down below. It will have been up already before this video. And to match it and to get the deal, I picked up the Bourgeois Healthy Balance Powder. 
haven't even really opened this yet, so I'll open it now. When I swatched it in boots, it just looked like a really nice kind of unpowdery powder. If that no, that doesn't make any sense, Laura. It just didn't look very cakey, and I'm told that it's very comparable to Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Now, Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural breaks me out, so hopefully this won't have the same reaction to me. So it's just a powder that looks like this. It looks like the right color for me, and it has a little mirror there as well. And it's really slim, and it looks like it would be good for travel, so I picked that up as well. Is that everything? Next are some lip glosses that were sent to me by a PR firm for Max Factor and these are the Colour Elixir glosses and wait till you see these. All the different colours. I have Radiant Rose, Luxurious Berry, Enchanting Coral, Polished Fuchsia, Pristine Nude and Lustrous Sand. I have given them all a bit of a swatchy swatch and I've tried them all on and they feel amazing on the lips. They feel literally just like a really creamy lip balm. Colour payoff is good on some, sheer on others. If you'd like a full video on these, please let me know in the comments below and I would be more than happy to do that for you. And Max Factor also sent me their Clumptify Extensions False Lash Effect Mascara. It looks like this. I have filmed a first impression review on that. I will link that down below if you'd like to go see it. Wearing it today, really like this. I will say after using it for a few days, I realize it's a really natural look mascara. It's not dramatic or voluminous, but I do absolutely adore it. Really, really like it. Doesn't smudge at all. So that is everything I've received and bought and picked up over the last few weeks. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos. I don't know if you like these haul videos. It's kind of a mishmash of random bits and pieces, but let me know if you do like them. And thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.